Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, I'm super excited about today's show because I picked up the Crosley Spinneret and I have been wanting to review this thing since I started the channel. This is one of the first turntables that I laid eyes on and was like, wow, that thing is cool looking. That is just super, super cool. And in case you're wondering why it looks familiar, it is inspired by the 1972 Philips record player line that were very, very similar to this. Uh, according to my friend via Westlife, by the way, man, I've lost your email. Hit me up in the email if, if, you, <laughs> if you can. Uh, I got a couple questions I'd like to ask you about some ideas I've got. Anyway, um, he says that these are made by Timson. In fact, the giveaway is this tone arm, which is a throwback to an old design, including some Phillips have this same design, but same mechanism on this is going to be on the collegiate on the Nomad and a number of units that, you know, share that common mechanism. I think the Danzet Jr. as well. Anyway, so, uh, but if you go to Timson's website, it's kind of weird because they don't have anything with this assembly on their current website. So maybe it's an older design. And speaking of older design, this packaging is the older, one generation older Crosley product line. So I think this is going to, you know, this is, I know it's outdated. I know it's discontinued. Although I'm going to put a link down below, assuming it's, not bad if it's good i'm gonna put a link down below because uh when i was doing research i was reading comments i always like to see what people's comments are i noticed that there's a company that has a stock of them still so even though they've been discontinued discontinued by crosley you can find them 129 i actually paid 149 for this this second and charles has uh this particular one always has this old new old stock crosley stuff which is interesting. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. I, I just think the design is cool. I think it is really cool. On the Yeah, see, I, pay, I paid $129 for it. Um, it does say it was designed... Let me go back to the wide angle. Somehow I lost the wide angle. It was designed in the U.S. I love the color of this. It's just such a... It looks so 60s. Although, like I said, it's a seven, 1972 design that it's based off of. Look at this. There's an old receipt in here. Is that Taco Bell receipt? What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. It is. I think this was a return. Okay, there's the manual. It's a little concerning. It's like, why did they return it? You know what I mean? Okay. It is a USB enabled one, by the way, too. This is really interesting. I hope there's no issue with it. They must have returned it pretty quick because it's got all the packaging and plastic wrap the reviews are mixed some people are like yeah it's great you know some people are like yeah it's terrible and we've already talked at nauseum about the uh bias against crosley so i'm not going to go into that again i just like the form factor i like the idea of it all i'm not expecting this to be a top quality product i'm expecting it to be a cool novelty item that is functional so if it's both of those things then i'm happy so some scuffs. Apparently this is a used return, which is weird because 149, and the original tag was only 129, and I doubt this thing is gaining value. I'm kind of, kind of feeling a little stiffed there. Okay, so we have a tone slider, pretty lightweight plastic. Volume slider, same thing, and then this button up here. I think that's a eject switch. We got the super 60s looking hard plastic lid. And again, the form factor overall is smaller than I had thought. There's the power supply where it resides. Nothing underneath. Let's go ahead and start here, I guess. Okay. Padded just like the back of the Crosley opening. Then that's where it connects, too. Interesting. Okay. What do we got in here? So we got an audio cable and a USB cable. I just never... Do you guys ever convert your vinyl to MP3s? I never find that feel the need to do that. And I know there's some vinyl that is only available. Uh, the music is only available on vinyl. And uh, oh, this is cool. It's got a notch so you can plug it in and close the lid. I don't know. I just never do that. If I had something that was... Uh, you know, I have... I, I take that back because I have done that a little bit. Mostly I record it to tape though. Okay, so then we put it up like this. And we open this latch and this should rotate down. Cool. That's awesome. Okay. 
So it goes down into the almost lower position and then it, it kind of snaps down in. Okay, interesting. So this is that same mechanism. Interesting. Three speeds. Let me go tighter a little bit now. So I'm going to hold this up. Actually, it's probably the easiest way to do this. So there's the on and off switch. I did read that that's more of a play pause switch more than an on and off switch. Three speed selector. We have the Audio Technica 3600L magnetic cartridge. This assembly does have the unlabeled adjustable counterweight, the silver on the back there rotates in and out. So you can actually set the adjustment right there. We've got a 45 adapter. And that's about it. Let's see what other. Oh, on the side here, okay. So phono and aux mode, because you can line input. This is this pre this is like 2009, 2010-ish. It predates Bluetooth on these players. So it's got the aux in, headphone jack. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just a screw port. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's play something on this. Uh, first, let me plug it in. That would be a good place to start. And let's grab a record. Let's grab something interesting. Now that's a little too interesting. Let's grab something good and interesting. Bear with me. I think I would have planned a little bit better for this, right? Come on, something good, something cool, something interesting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm going to use this uh, record. Terrible condition uh, sleeve, but great music. This Project 3 release, Quadraphonic Enoch Light Brigade. We used this the other night, and I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it didn't have a content ID match, which means we were able to enjoy it, which is a good thing. So... Let's go ahead and place it right onto the platter, thusly. I just like the look of this thing. I think it looks cool. And by the way, the color isn't coming across, across quite accurately. It looks like a kind of just a straight up blue on camera, but it's a little bit more tealish in person. Okay, so I'm putting this to on. That was backwards. Interesting. Got some hum. That's not, oh, the volume was cranked, that's why. We'll put the tone in the middle, and we'll work our way up from a lower volume. So without further ado, here, well, let's put the counterbalance in the lightest position possible. Okay, here we go. Nice, that actually sounds good. Turn it up a little bit. Good volume, that's 50%. like this. Cool. That's, yeah, I, one of the things I did read was that the sound is actually pretty good and I'm surprising. Didn't expect much, but it sounds good. Surprisingly good, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see what I see? Are we carving my record? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, see this right here? It's hard to see on camera. Those are the two places I draw my stylus. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is quite interesting. Let's scroll this back here. Also, why are we sketchy on operating the right way? Let's scroll this back a little bit. What the heck? It's scraping. Oh, that's my fault. It's scraping on the tape player. Good grief. That was touching over there. That was my own dumb fault. This whole thing is like spring loaded. That's interesting. But that's not cool. So let us go ahead and replace the stylus. You never can trust a needle on a record player that you buy. So, who knows, right? Who knows? So, I am going to look and hopefully have one available in my little tool kit here. Go back to my wide angle, you can kind of see my stash a little bit here. 
giant. I should have kind of one of everything in here. Now watch, that's going to be the one I don't have. I do not like the idea that I've been carving up that record. That's not a good thing. We can't have that. That's really weird because this mechanism usually tracks nice and light. It could just be a bad, bad stylus. Okay, let me think about this. I don't see the right one on hand. That is so bizarre. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and clean this out real quick. And if it's still doing this, then we're going to have to replace it with something else. Okay, this is my little carbon fiber brush. Try to do this so you can see it here. Gentle back to front motions. And we can go ahead and put this back in here. Come on. Should be that hard. There we go. Yeah, I don't like about putting the needle back on the 3600 is it doesn't like snap in. In my experience, it just kind of goes into position. I don't feel like that, you know, satisfying psh, snap. There's only one way it can go. Come on. I don't want to have to return this thing because I've wanted this for a while. Good night. Okay. We got it there. Now please. We got this on the lightest possible setting. Yeah. The lightest possible setting. There should be no reason why this would damage anything. Yep, it's doing it again, man. Dang, dang, that sucks. Why don't we measure this down for us? I know I need a digital one, but this one actually is just as accurate. You just have to fiddle with it a little bit. Okay, let us go ahead. Oops, tell us if I turn it off. Why is that on still? What the heck? Now I see what they were talking about. The on and off switch is like, what does it actually do? All right, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. How about that? Okay, let's not do that. All right. Okay, it's more than three and a half. More than four. It's about five. Is it carving like that? Okay, that is about five, five and a half tops, which is high for this cartridge. This thing should only track up to, I think, three and a half grams. But still, it shouldn't carve like that. That is really, really weird. What a bummer. Because I do like the design. I do like the design. Sorry about the off the cuff nature of tonight's show. But sometimes it's fun to do it this way. Jeez. Not a good thing though how it's carving it. The sound was good. The sound was really good. Okay, well this is gonna bear further investigation. I really don't want to destroy destroy my Enoch light record anymore. This mechanism has worked really good in the past. I'm gonna have to figure out why this particular one isn't. I love the design factor of it though too. It's so cool. It is so cool. And the sound quality was really good. The carving not so good. Didn't like that, but super cool. It looks good, good design, industrial design anyway, but bum that it's used and I paid over a new price for it and bummed that it doesn't work properly. So I am not gonna put a link in the description below and we are gonna investigate further. If I do keep this and I don't take it back, we're going to tear it down and see how it works and all that good stuff. But that's going to do it for now. Hope you guys thought this was interesting. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.